Well, <laughs> very alive, <laughs> very alive, still alive, still going. We normally begin at the beginning today. We have to begin at the end because that's what the whole football world is talking about right now is that moment, that penalty where Raheem Sterling got to the right, got to the box, cut in, penalty. Got side yeah, down. As he entered the penalty area and he got side down. Oh. Hey, do you want a neutral perspective? Should we go first? neutral and yeah. then one, two? And yeah, yeah. also, um, when you talk about them deserving it, I must I must reveal um, for sh- that Thomas actually foreshadowed this sitting there watching it because the momentum was all with England. You, you actually mentioned, John, Raheem Sterling looks dangerous every time he gets in the box. And then what happened? Yeah, look, Raheem Sterling, he's positive. And once he starts to run at plays, it's very hard to, to stop him. And, and what he does, because he's got a low centre of gravity, when he gets past you, he's able to quickly get in front of you as well and get across you. And um, and then you, you just have to be careful. You, you're trying to stay out of the way, and sometimes you might clip him. A lot of the times, uh, the Danes did it really well. They didn't lunge in the box. They just kept their feet. They said, yeah, if you want to get past me, then you have to actually beat me. Um, and so I thought they, they defended well, but you could see it coming because there was building. That it was building, and they kept on getting into the box. Grealish was running into the box. Sometimes Kane was in the box. Then, the, the, you know, Sterling was in there. I don't think it was a penalty. I don't think there was enough contact. If there was contact, it was very slight. I thought that he was already going down once he did get that contact. And uh, and I was disappointed that the referee didn't go check or VAR didn't get him to go check. And now let's not take anything away from Sterling because Sterling was brilliant again the whole game. For me, he was man of the match along with Kane, and uh, but no penalty. Right, let me give you the honest assessment of that penalty decision. Mr. All, um, Mr. Old, Mr. Aloisi. <laughs> Older. Old. Um, <laughs> just because we're great here. him John Older. <laughs> Mr. Aloisi, the, the assessment of that penalty decision. Sterling drives into the penalty area. Yeah. There is minimal contact, no penalty. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Oh, well. That's the coming from lo- an Englishman. The more I look at it, the worse it gets. And I feel that's very. From an that's coming from an Englishman. I was, you thought I was going to absolutely. Yeah. Bar- barrack and go no, for the penalty. Because no, at the time, you, you actually thought. At the time. When it first happened, live, I thought it's a penalty. I thought but that it, yeah. someone touched him. I thought yeah. that it was, you, you but know. But, John, there is this minimal, minimal contact, but that, for me, it's it's slight. It's just a yeah, brush of the legs. You ca- for that, I decide a game of that magnitude. For them not to go and do the VO, Tommy made an unbelievable um, analysis of it off air when we were just finishing up. I said to Tommy, what do you think? Why wasn't that? Why didn't it go to VO? So, if that was in the Premier League... 99% of the time, that would not be given. No, not at all, but his, Tommy's... Go on, tell him yeah. what you said. You know what? You know, you know. looking at it, I think maybe it was a smart decision from, from the VAR room to, to not give that decision to the referee. You know, with the pressure, the, the whole situation, being at Wembley with the history, to then having him going over, and, and again, it was... It was as in the slightest of touches, and and the more he would have watched that on the screen, it would have talked him out of actually giving it. And yeah. had he got back on his decision, yeah. that would have been carnage. So it might not be the case, you know. I'm not saying, but if I they think s- it's a very good, uh, you've yeah, summed it up. you know, again, it, 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 if they might have, and you showed me another picture where there is a slight touch, touch uh, of knees. There's a slight touch of knees. But is it Marla or is it Jensen? No, no it's Marla. Marla, no, Marla no. catches him, and yeah, then he's yeah. already going well, down. See, look, look at yeah. that! Look at yeah. that! Yeah, no, no, no. Who but he, but no, he showed me a picture, and there's the slightest touches, uh, and then. Can you then overturn it? You know, all those things. Um, you so, know. so the way that I look at it, if, if it is Mahler that they give the penalty for, I actually see Mahler, he doesn't put up his hands. Usually, oh, that's slight. That's, <laughs> oh, dude, the, that's a brush of hairs on their legs. Yeah. That's, a, that's what I'm saying. It's very harsh. That's the VL angle that oh, they was given. That's, yeah. that's slight. Yeah, you know what? It's, um, it's disappointing that decided the game. Yeah, I think that that's what we can come down to because it was coming. You know, like even from a from a Danish perspective, I can you know, I can stand here and say, you know what, we were on the cosh. Uh we didn't really get out. We we didn't produce much. And I think like you said, John, that the, the people that came on, I think Yusuf Paulson who, who who's been good in this tournament, scored a couple of goals in, in the early games, but he didn't hold off the ball well. Where Dolberg in the first half, even Braithwaite at times but he lost it, uh, and that lost the momentum. And, and again, that built the pressure 
and it was coming the penalties. How good was Casper Schmeichel as well? By oh, the way, you were oh, goalkeeper. Oh. He to show the game that he had shows how much England dominated this game. With I'm not, I'm not gloating. He was magnificent for the amount of saves he used. He had to make because the other guy, Pickford, who's had an unbelievable tournament. We all say there's a moment of madness coming, and Pickford had a Pickford today because he threw the ball to your strikers twice. He didn't look comfortable in goal. England have got the result. He'd be one very relieved and, man today. And maybe even saying he could have saved the free kick. Uh, and yes. I, but I don't want to take, again, any quality away from the strike because it was one strike. The way he actually hit that ball, Darms guy, over the wall, the way it dipped, the power, it was... Um, Ericsson esque, I would say, but um, I still think that uh, probably another keeper on the day would have saved that. Yeah, agree. No better person to pay tribute to Casper Michael's performance than, than yourself, Tom. It was he actually broke Peter's record for the most saves made by a, a Dane in a knockout game at the Euros. Yeah, no, he played a, a big game the day before. He, well, he, didn't you make that many <laughs> saves in a knockout? Nah. Uh, so it's really Schmeichel's record to Schmeichel. There's no sovereignty <laughs> yeah. in there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Probably third. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I'm quite happy. That's, that's quite decent. It's a, it's a, it's a good list to Yeah, be but up. you know what? A sign of a good keeper is when you organise the defence in front of you. You don't concede that many chances. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you. Um, yeah, no. Uh, uh, you know what? what um, you know, he... He obviously talked a big game the, the day before, yep. but that that's him, his he confidence, produced. and and he produced. Uh, you know, he was a leader, stood up. You know, he again. You know, we're looking at it. He would be fuming in the dressing room with that penalty because he was there. How didn't it parry out left? Why did it bounce back in? He over dived, didn't yeah, he? It sort of comes on the inside of him, so it's it, you know he can't get the momentum to push it, push it out. Uh, and you know, I think the only thing he could have done different was obviously maybe try to 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 uh, keep hold, hold of it. it. But it, it, you know that that now we're being really really harsh. And he nearly saved the second one. Like just look at the athleticism of yeah. him diving, turning, and then diving the other direction. It was close. Johnny, you're a penalty taker. We all know what you did for Australia with your penalty. Could you imagine Kane as he sees Schmeichel going the right way? And he saves it, and you're thinking, my God, I've just cost my nation going. And then the ball falls at your feet to put I, it in I, the back of the net. I can tell you now, I've, I've hit a penalty before that the keeper has saved, and it's come back my way. That half a second, your heart drops because <laughs> you've gone, oh, no, I just missed. And then all of a sudden, your eyes light up, and you go, yes. <laughs> because it goes down as a normal goal, <laughs> yeah. not actually a penalty. Enjoying our YouTube channel? Be sure to subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.